I'm Trump. And Lai. We're with Phantom Royal Cosplay. Now, how long have you both been cosplaying for? Um, this is actually my first cosplay, which was earlier this year. And I've been doing it for about five, a little over five years now. So, um, We've had panels before, not cosplay related, but uh, music and style related. We've done panels. This was our first cosplay related one, so it was exciting. <laughs> How how's the experience been here at this? I guess, uh, this is the first year for this convention. So, um, are you from this area or? We live about three, maybe three and a half hours away. Um, we came here, and knowing it was the first one, we knew it was going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, we weren't wrong, but it's everyone's been very friendly, very hardworking uh, people, and they've made sure that we're completely taken care of. And the uh, attendees for the panel and everything very spirited, and it was a lot of fun. So they were really into it. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We've found a lot of Kurler Shusuzu fans here, so which is crazy, because from our home convention, pretty much like nobody recognizes. No They're all, oh hey, you look awesome. What are you from? <laughs> Where are you so. from? But here, everyone seemed to know, uh, and it made it more entertaining because our our goal really is to kind of. Um, bring the characters to life of the shows that we like ourselves and then that way people can interact with their favorite characters more or less than they could if it was just a cartoon so that's that's kind of entertaining if, especially yeah. if people recognize you it makes yeah. it easier so we're good so what would you say top maybe you'll say three to five cosplay tips three to five cosplay tips um tip number one <laughs> Uh, plan. Definitely plan ahead, do test runs, things like that. You always want to make sure that nothing's going to break, nothing's going to sweat off, nothing's going to rip before you actually get to the convention, especially if it's not in your hometown, because then it makes, it can ruin all a, a ton of hard work if something falls apart. Um, step, um, what's it makeup, thing? make sure you do, you know, you make up uh, contacts, lenses, um, you know, doing a uh, like an anime character with huge eyes, you know, do circle lenses. Um, I'm wearing them right now. So um, hit the details yes. as best details as you can. Because um, that, that really is what makes or break a costume, especially like if, if you buy a costume and then other people buy the exact same thing, those details are what is going to set your costume apart from everyone else's. Um, tip number three, just have fun with it. Like you... Not everybody's going to dress up to be the best that there ever was or impress or whatever. Because cosplay is like costume play. So it's not really, couldn't really be called a cosplay if you're super serious about it. You need to make sure that you have fun and be a character that you enjoy. Otherwise, what's the point? All right. <laughs> um, what else? Um, just, I don't know. Other than planning ahead, really anything is possible as long as you plan for weather and things like that. Good tips would just come with specifically what you're doing, like um, what kind of costume and what kind of convention you're going to, how crowded it's going to be and such. So that's really all I can say is plan your work. Well, obviously the title of this panel was Cosplay Gone Wrong. What is in your mind the worst cosplay you've perhaps seen? The worst one that I've seen quality-wise or just execution? Uh, I've, I've seen some things that were just a little appalling. I guess you could say, like, you were just a little surprised at people have taken T-shirts and just, like, sharpied on armor and things like that. and Draw on uh, abs. Draw or abs something. on. And there are plenty of cheap and good ways to go about making those kind of things that don't require shirts to be sharpied. But... um. People who don't plan very well would be people who um, probably don't get the nicest things said about them. Like if you're maybe a bit bigger and you wear something that is like maybe two inches of fabric, you may be comfortable and confident in it and stuff. And that's good that you're confident in your cosplay. But if you're worried about what people's opinions of you might be or their first impression of you, that may not be the best way to go. So uh, that's... that's kind of some of the worst that I've seen. Yeah, um, yeah. where people, they do an entire outfit out of duct tape, which it's not bad, but it doesn't always look that great. It looks a little tacky sometimes. 
try not to look tacky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, but there, there are some amazing ones out there as well that are made with cheaper materials. It's just how you execute it. So, and there are some costumes that are like people build box Gundams, and that's entertaining, but not something you could take seriously. But it's entertaining. Yeah. It's made out of FedEx boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I think. Yeah. think we're good.